Hello and welcome to Titan Souls. For anyone who doesn't know this game, it is essentially a boss rush or boss fighting game where we have a bow and a singular arrow that is soul bound to our character. And I will preface this up front. I have beat the story of this game before. But the first time I beat it, I ended up with 227 deaths. The second time I got 50. The first time I played it, I got through the first 11 with uh, only 85 deaths. But... We'll see how this stream goes. Maybe it'll be an hour and I'll beat all of the bosses like this previous attempt from July. Maybe uh, it'll take a full three hours. Who knows? There's only one new safe file without erasing. But that's all we need. Hard mode, the real challenge. No, iron mode. No rolls. Um, I think I'll just play normal. I still struggle on normal with some of the bosses. I want to say that um, 50 death run was over half of the deaths were a single boss. to fire. Roll well, downstairs, can't roll upstairs. I mean that. Hold A to run. Tap A to roll. The longer you hold X, the further the arrow goes. Alright. And now we have the question of which boss to fight first. Any preferences from the chat? between uh, the uh, heart, the eye, the brain, and the body. Mind, body, soul, and uh, heart, because his eyes are the windows to the soul. Well, no response from the chat, so in we go to the heart. This guy's fun. Basically, every time you hit him with an arrow, he splits in half. If I hit him when he's not in the air, that is. And the goal 
is to split the one that contains the heart so that I can shoot the heart nope because each small one moves faster up oh, and they drop slime I'm into this corner over here I missed now the hearts just there again there we go did the heart first try no deaths I can't guarantee that for uh, all the bosses, but I can certainly try. And now it's all shriveled up. I'm gonna say this is. Is this the ice cube? This is the ice cube. This is a fun one. Most of the time I end up with uh, a couple of deaths here. Once, once you get rid of the ice, then that that boss isn't that hard. But I have struggled before on getting him out of the ice. Now the brain is all shriveled up too. Heart, mind body yep I rolled into a fist One death. Oh. <sighs> Too focused on trying to shoot. Didn't get out of the way of the fist, and I didn't even get the shot off. For anyone wondering what I'm trying to do with this boss, his uh, weak point is the pink spot that he's covering up with one hand. So you have to get him to slam down with one hand and then switch to slamming down with the other. So that he 
reveals his weak spot. <laughs> Just in case the first two bosses being completed with no deaths was uh, giving you a false sense that I was good at this game. Here we are. A uh, handful of attempts in. Oh. No. <laughs> On uh, this guy. There it is. Okay. I don't know how many deaths that's been so far. <laughs> well, one on the eye. Don't try to roll upstairs. But only one on the eye. Because the trick is to shoot him when he opens his eye to shoot that laser beam. A lot of the bosses in this are not too difficult if you know how to beat them. They can still be tricky to, to pull off. Get the timing right, but... At least part of the first time through would be figuring out how you're supposed to beat each of the bosses. Open the gate. All right, elevator, take me up. Soul, arrow, and bow. I want to say somewhere up here is the place to check how many deaths. Unless it's part of the like pause menu now. Well, this is the gate to the final boss. It's a nice waterfall.
what's down here? So I don't think there's a boss down here. Some more stairs down. Ah, there's two bosses over here. And a secret passageway that leads to this one. Before that, where where was the other path leading? Oh, just another area with two bosses. There's four of those hand statue things. being that many. I, I remember there was at least two. Maybe four. Sounds right, but... Okay. That's to... Well, okay, I'm over here now. I'll do the two bosses over here. And then I'll go over to that grave area and do the two bosses over there. There's a whole area to walk through. I thought this was going to be a boss fight. What? There's, a, there's an elephant? I'm sorry. I, this is not familiar right now. Random elevator? Where did this take me? Shortcut to the snow place. Well, I guess I'm doing the snow bosses then. Okay, I actually know where the bosses are in this one.
Oh, this is the Yeti. Oh, I hate the Yeti. But we have to do them all. So we might as well get the Yeti out of the way. in by some ice. Snowballs, I don't think the snowballs themselves can kill you, but they definitely push you into the wall. Maybe if they actually, if you're already against the wall and a snowball hits you. I got the Yeti on my first or second try on that one where I only had 50 deaths. Because usually the Yeti is worth 50 deaths in its own right for me. I just got lucky. Did it, went off to the right angle instead of going left. Worked like a charm. Only got a few deaths off the Eddie. Do I need to light all of these up? No, absolutely not. Do I want to light all of these up? Yes. I need to light up the pathway over here so that I could unlock the other boss that I tend to struggle with. Fun fact about this uh, boss up here, I actually have a rare achievement on Steam that is uh, only 4% of people on Steam have the achievement, which is to destroy all of the icebergs. Speed. 
speaking of icebergs, I like to uh, do this at the beginning, sort of set up my boss fight arena a little nicer. Because what I need to do is when he comes up like that, I need to hit the tail. So it helps to have a platform that I can stand on near where he's coming up and smashing. actually smash the platform I was standing on. There we go. And this is why preparation is important. Didn't actually get any deaths on that one. <sighs> All right, two down, one to go. I don't need the flames up here. Ah, yes. Teeth man. I need to get him to laser beam himself in the face. This is not a hard boss. I shouldn't I shouldn't have gotten a death there. I was just being impatient. And everybody knows that being impatient just results in unnecessary deaths. Well that now, that one I have no excuse for. It's the combination of the... I keep forgetting that he does that wind-blowing effect. And it's the combination of that and the tower coming up and flinging me. He no longer has the two teeth on the left there. There we go. Another soul attained. Another titan defeated. Uh, 
Alright. Well, that's all three in the ice area. But... I didn't get here the normal... Like, normally, I would, like, navigate the overworld, walk up mountain area, and get over here from somewhere else, I think. Maybe I'm just crazy, but... I don't remember this elevator. But I can't think of any other way to get here right now. So I probably do take the elevator. But then there's the three lava bosses here. And there's just a body on the ground. Come at me, bro! Oh, new achievement! New achievement! <laughs> Let's go! Oh. I have never done that before. I just thought I'd wing it. Um... <laughs> Exit the tunnel screen. <laughs> I was inside the orb. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so far we're up to fifteen deaths. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh. Wait, th this is the elevator I took, right? Yeah, that's the elevator to the ice place. Is it behind the vo the lava? It's behind the lava. I have no memory of you or where your weak spot is. I assume it's the crystal. I don't remember these lava bosses. I want to say I only did them twice. I was going to say once, but then I remembered I'd beat the game twice, so... Back up into your own bomb, my dude.
Is that not what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> I might just get deaths on this person, not because they're hard, but because I don't remember what to do. Oh, there we go. I got him to eat my arrow, and now I can pull him towards the, the bomb. And then die, because I didn't um, destroy the crystal. Okay. Get him to spit out the bomb. Get him to eat my arrow. And use the soul bond pulling of my arrow. Ah. Uh, see, the trick is, is I need to get him close to it without blowing it up. And these fire shots. Her fire shots? I mean, the. the the crystal looks kind of like a bow. Howdy! Hey, hey, J Rod. This, uh, are you familiar with the game Titan Souls? It's uh, basically a boss rush game. I'm currently uh, struggling a little with this boss. Oh, it's just going to blow it up. Didn't quite get it. Fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, essentially, I have a singular arrow in my bow that I can pull back to me. I can dodge roll and I can run. And that's it. That's, that's all the mechanics. And I have to figure out for each boss fight what I need to do to defeat the boss in question. In this case, I need to get this lava slime to eat my arrow so that I can pull it to this bomb that it's shooting out. so that I can then shoot the crystal when it blows up and launches all the lava away. And that's that boss fight. <laughs> Did it. You're my good luck charm. Don't go anywhere. I may, I may or may not have died on that boss about seven or eight times before you showed up. <laughs> I could go back out to the menu and give you a proper death count of where I'm at. But I'll try this guy. I, I want to say he's got a weak point in his the back of his head. Where did I even go? Did I get launched instead of my bow or my arrow? <laughs> For reference, I have beat this game before, even as recently as July, but 
Okay, he does have the weak pink spot on the back of his head. Can confirm. I was trying to be sneaky and uh, hit him with the arrow as I pulled it back towards myself, since he's keeping his front facing me at all times, or his sides really, to be honest. <laughs> Gonna be starting I'm here for support. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I know you've got your, your own streams to run, but thank you for coming over here. Okay, let's do let's do that again, but this time we go the other way so that it's so that we rotate him. Oh, that is... Oh, come on! I thought I had that there. He intimidates me. <laughs> He's a very intimidating... Uh, very intimidating boss. Oh, by the way, uh, there's just a body down here with no head. The music doesn't help. What are you talking about? The music's fine. I feel like this boss is going to easily raise my death counter by a large number. There's got to be something going on with the vents on the ground. That was the chance.
Now is the time! He's got to get it, get it shot off at the right time while he's rotating. Okay, buddy. Your days are numbered now. I've seen your attack patterns. I've remembered when to shoot. Uh, I was waiting for the rotation, and then he got too, just too close and smashed me. He stands no chance. You're right. He doesn't stand a chance. Because I've got this. For real this time. Last time I was just messing around. Thought I got that shot off in the right angle, but apparently not. Definitely got it off wrong there. a little late. Okay. Mr. S Spike Balls of Death. Prepare to meet my arrow. Or my face, that works too. Got him! Leak spin? What's what's that achievement for? I assume Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I assume that the leak spin achievement is for like finishing him during that spinning but I can't think of any other way that I would have finished him in the past and not gotten that achievement. So, I don't know. Did you just evolve? Uh, yeah, basically every, every time that I beat one of these uh, titans, I absorb their soul into, into mine. Okay, so out here, there were two different spots with checkpoint markers. What does this marker now say? Is left defeated? No. 
Are there more bosses in this game than I thought? Oh, I remember this guy. This is the the mimic. Open the secret passage down there so that I can head down and fight the living treasure chest. In, in some ways, he's kind of like the uh, the dice. Done. Easy boss. No chance. Did I say dice? I meant the cube with uh, with an eye. I, I mean, I guess a cube can be a dice. A cube can be a die, not dice. Dice would have to be multiple cubes. All right, I did left. Now I gotta do up. Oh no, it's this man. It's Knight Elahan, the legendary Titan Slayer. Basically, bigger, stronger version of me. Ow. But he has more than one arrow. That's just cheating. I only get one arrow. Why does he get m multiple? in his final form. That's true, he is a legendary Titan Slayer, so presumably he's done all of this before. Alright, let's start off by missing my arrow shot. Yeah, the ricocheting arrow. That's that's his weak point. I need to shoot that. I don't remember if I have to wait for it to stop ricocheting or if I need to shoot it while it's still ricocheting. And that makes him vulnerable so that I can shoot him. Cuz that's what the opening is telegraphing. Okay, I need to shoot it while it's still bouncing, because otherwise it's just... <laughs> Go steal his arrow on the ground. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're too big. They won't fire out of my bow.
I rolled the same direction that his arrow was going. So it just hit me a second later than it normally would have if I hadn't rolled. some reason I didn't think that it was going to bounce around the corner that way. Okay, here's the plan. We shoot the arrow, get our arrow, and then we let him fire his normal arrows, as well as the ricocheting one. I, You know what? I thought I could roll through the base of the pillar once the pillar was gone, but I can't actually move through it. He can shoot through it. I don't think I can shoot through it. Logic. Okay, as I was starting to say, here's the plan. We let him shoot his arrow, the ricocheting arrow, and then a couple of uh, the regular arrows. Without dying, and then... Um, I think it's three regular arrows before the... Uh, ricocheting one stops and in the brief moment when the one when the ricocheting one stops before he pulls it back to him that's when we that's when we fire because i don't know if i can actually hit it while it's ricocheting i mean i could try but I need to not be at the angle that it's going to bounce. That would be beneficial to my survival. Here we go again. He has aimbot. Not only does he have aimbot, he is an aimbot. all the pillars on one side. Got him. Oh. Well, I hit the arrow. That's what matters. Technically, you could consider that progress in the sense that I... Got his weak point exposed once. Definitely. Yeah, okay.
Nope. Not today. Ah, just barely missed. And now he's going to bring it to him. And round two of ring around the... Oh, right. If the pillar's cracked, it just goes through it. Doesn't actually bounce off. Attempt number who's even counting anymore? All right, Elahan, fire when ready. Nope. Again. See, the trick is I need to, to do that arrow thing when I'm close enough to him and my own arrow to actually get the shot off. Aha, we're up to three viewers. Welcome. I'm beating my head against a pillar man. That, I was definitely too close to be ne right next to Mr. Aimbot. wrong angle again another fire when ready See, I had a whole idea behind where the ricochet was going, but I didn't account in my head for bouncing off the pillars. So that completely changed the trajectory of the big arrow. Not that it mattered, because I ended up getting hit by his wooden arrows anyway, but it's a good sign. It's a good sign when I can't even hit the arrow while it's stationary. Just a smidge sooner than I should have. You gotta roll the uh, right time, not too early. Alright. Shoot the arrow here. Hit it. <laughs> it hit me. Oh, okay. Okay. 
This guy uh, is also one of the bosses that... In, I think this is the boss, if I remember rightly, that I was talking about at the beginning of the stream on the, the run that I did where I only had 50 deaths. This guy was about 30 to 40, somewhere in that range of the 50 deaths that I had. The final... I managed, I think... The, the final boss of the game, I managed to do in on that 50 that 50 death run, I managed to do the final boss of the game in like one or two attempts. But this guy. Come back here, Arrow. He's on the other side of the pillar! No! Uh, yeah, go through the pillar. No, that was definitely the wrong angle. Okay. Take three. <laughs> that was, that was, <sighs> that was my own fault. I just basically walked straight into the ricocheting arrow. He wasn't even firing arrows. successfully dodged the ricocheting arrow that I was almost getting myself hit with, but I dodge rolled in the same direction that he was firing from. Alright, this is the one, this is the time. Last time was a fluke, the time before that was, uh, I almost had him. These are warm-ups. Yeah, yeah. Just just warm it up. It's no big deal. We can take him. We've done it before. A couple of times. And we're, this guy, at this point, because we've done most of the bosses in this game... We've only got, like, what, four more enemies left before we're just done? I rolled before he shot the arrow instead of after. Which made me defenseless. 
okay. This is fine. My whole rhythm was thrown off because of the way that it bounced off this bottom right pillar. Ella Han. No. Oh. I was focused I was focused in lightning focus on him and where his arrow was. I just was completely blind like did not even see the ricocheting arrow. Okay, okay. Tried to tried to get snarky with him. Hit his arrow while he was charging up his bow. But game just punished me for it. I had to try. I had to try it once. His arrow beats my arrow in the head-on competition when he's first launching it. He's way too far away. No! That was the time! opportunity and I failed. Uh, but that was the closest. That was the closest I've ever come. Well, for this stream anyway. <laughs> oh, I love missing a stationary arrow. Okay, let's try again. Ah. 
He was too far away. <laughs> Rolled in the wrong direction. But we're, we're getting better. We're getting better all the time. Yep, let's get my arrow stuck on a pillar. I didn't I didn't want to beat you that time anyway. Close. Keep it coming. I, I misjudged the hitbox on the arrow. I thought it was just going to barely miss me, instead it just barely hit me. Speaking of misjudging the hitbox on the arrow. No! Oh! Come on! The hitbox window on that is so tight. plus side I think that is the first time he has ever stomped me to death so something new <laughs> That's... missed the arrow to start <laughs> the fight twice that's a good sign. It's a good sign. That means it means I'm going to be on point for this one. Ah. For some reason, it fired even though I was holding the button down. Not quite. Our arrows went past each other. Oh, he's way too far. I wouldn't even get any benefit for hitting the arrow, even if I had hit it. Nope. Uh. Punishment. Elhanan.
Was I calling him by the wrong name earlier? Okay. Let's go. We got this. Thirty fourth times the char the charm. That that's how the saying goes, right? He heard that. No, oh, you've you've heard that. It's a good thing that that was the thirty-third time, and this one is the thirty-fourth time. Just like the saying goes. such a good opportunity there, but I didn't even get the hit off. Come on, back down. He's too far away from his arrow. I was a little close. A little close to the arrow. Gotta go. Luck to my never. Thank you. Thank you, J Rod. Sorry that you could not witness me defeating Knight Elhanan. Good luck on your stream. May you have bosses that are less painful than this. No! How did that miss? How did that miss? Stuck on the pillar. Let's try again. We were close. We were very close that time. There we go. Did it. Got him. Done. Dead. Oh.
<sighs> J-Rod might have been the good luck charm for previous bosses. But apparently, the instant he leaves, I'm finally able to defeat that one. Which was eluding me. Oh, this is this is the the trick to getting to the um, one of the bosses in the forest. Right, left, up. I remember that now. Didn't I have... wasn't there a spot in a graveyard? But I'm headed to the forest now. No, I'm not doing the forest till I go back and find that graveyard spot. Okay, here's the center. If I go down here... Here we go. Graveyard! There's two bosses over here. There's for sure more than 13 bosses. I don't remember this guy at all. I don't think I've ever done this boss. Pretty sure I know what I need to do, which is to sort of set up a trap while he's rotating around the room. No, trap missed. Slightly wrong angle.
Okay, I need to make the... Still need to dodge the orbs. Okay. Clearly that doesn't work. So, how do I get behind him? I don't. But then how do I shoot him? In the back. Because the pulling arrow didn't pull into him. That was terribly aimed. Again. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. I pulled that into him. And I watched it, so I know it hit the right spot. Okay, I'm just going to focus on dodging him, see if his pattern changes after he fires some amount
I don't get it. I don't understand this boss. think of is maybe if it comes at him with more speed from behind, but it's not a good way of doing that. Without having him punch me into a wall. I don't know, but we're going to try. That's all that we can do, is try. I seriously don't think I've ever seen this boss before. It needed more speed! Ugh. We got one more graveyard, two in the forest, and then that's gonna be the final door. Three, two, four, one. Okay. What's in this door? Is this a shortcut to another area? Ah. Another broken soul seeking truth. Oh. This guy. Okay. Less encumbered than the last. You have paid a high toll indeed. for the abomination in your quiver and for what knowledge power I hope it was worth it 
do what you must. Well, gosh. If I had known that this guy was going to give me a speech, I would have gone and done the forest and then come back for him. And there's his face. Climbing up down his beard now. For variety of scenery. I'm gonna go down his other arm. Oh, this guy probably counts as one of the four hand slam dudes. head to the forest where the last bosses before the end are waiting I don't know what the death count is but I can guarantee that I am not going to beat my record of 50 deaths Guaranteed. So we know one of them is right, left, and then up because of that one thing that we read earlier. I want to say you also need to eat my arrow. I love poison clouds. Right, left, up. This this forest has is a little bit uh, lost woodsy with navigation.
I didn't get there. I didn't get there in time. I opened the pod. But I needed to shoot inside. destroy the tentacles, but then they just stay on the ground and then you can't run over those spots. Good. Got the head off from that weird angle. And then there was one, which is not up, but going up and then following the river, I remember leads to something fun. Okay, so that's a mural of the boss we just fought. Don't quite understand it, but anyway, the other boss is left. Um, it's not left up. Is it left? Oh, there it is. Follow the mushrooms. Is mushrooms up. More mushrooms up. Here we are, because this is the mushroom boss, who will try and stomp on me just like that. Um, but also, you can uh, you can get hit by the mushroom cloud things, uh, but. Uh, does get a little trippy, visually speaking, as one would expect from a mushroom. Oh, not the green ones, apparently. Can't hit the green ones. Let's try and be on the, the right side of him this time. So I can 
Just fire the arrow and be done with it. No. Oh, just took the green one straight to the face. But we're close. We've only got a few bosses left. This is the last one before we can open the big door. He is definitely facing the wrong direction for me to even consider shooting an arrow at him right now. Nope. Not quite. And there's another green. Alright. I felt I felt good about that run even if I did end up not uh not winning. I was getting couple of attempts successfully dodging some of the puffs Stand, can't stand still for too long. He'll just come and smash me. So, getting hit by the trail is what starts putting the character into a drug trip. Getting hit directly by either the, the pink ones or the green ones just kills you outright. I'm running away from the weak spot, essentially. There we go, got it! Let's go! Gonna open up the big door just before we hit two hours on the stream. Up we go!
Elevator! Take me! To the end of the game! Here we have this boss with laser beams and two buttons that I need to get his fists to sit on in order to open up his weak spot. And the weak spot fires a laser. He doesn't even wait for me to shoot. He just goes straight into murder. take my arrow out. I hit the wrong button, that's why. I finally get him to slam on the second button in the process of killing me. Just barely missed. Yep. I just auto-fired and he hadn't opened the chamber yet. Takes a moment for him to actually open up. Ah! I miss. I shot the arrow slightly to the left. But we were close that time. Alright, let's try that again. Left fist on. Right fist on. One, two, three! Let's go! And there's one more boss, the true final boss of the game, who I've beaten twice, but my uh, death count range, the first time I beat him, was uh, about a hundred something deaths. Second time, like one death. 
So I don't have a good track record. Haha. It's no final boss. It's just a statue I just had to steal souls from. Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, sorry, actually, the all the souls I was collecting now have uh, become sentient. And, uh, now I have to fight my, my own final form. Oh, and uh, anytime that I'm pulling my arrow towards me, uh, it pulls his arrow towards me as well, which can hurt me. And he can steal my arrow, but I can't steal his. So, this is basically going to be the rest of the stream. However long it takes me to beat this guy again, for the third time. Ah! <laughs> can't- I can't let him steal my arrow. I also can't let him just shoot me. I'm thinking this is going to be more like the first time I fought him where it took like a hundred deaths rather than the 50 life one where I got extremely lucky. So that part where he does the, like, random dash, that's when you need to shoot him. But what triggers it? I don't fully know. I also just walked straight into that arrow, because I was focusing on dodging the spheres that were bouncing around. I think it's every time he shoots the arrow other than the first time. Nope. And he stole my arrow. Try this again. It's the first time. Shoot it the second time. And he stole my arrow. Good to know if his arrow hits mine, it stuns me again, just like the the Titan. Even though it's bouncing around because he launched it. Just 
he didn't dash that time. Why didn't he dash that time? What was different? Ugh. Come on! It was right in my face. The aiming and timing on that is so precise. <sighs> no. We could have swapped arrows, but I'm not allowed to touch his. Are those electric balls suddenly homing when I don't have my arrow? Because I feel like they're sort of wandering aimlessly until the moment when I don't have my arrow, at which point suddenly I'm just hit by six of them. I rolled into the electric orb that time. It's my own fault. Ah, uh, nope. And the worst, the worst part about it is that. There's no, like, his dash can sometimes be one length or another length. I don't think it's consistently the same length. It doesn't feel like it's consistently the same length anyway. What direction is he going to dash in? Who knows? Why does his arrow go to me much faster? My arrow was closer than his arrow, and mine didn't go to me at all by the time his hit me. Oh, I forgot how frustrating this boss fight was the first time. Just keep telling yourself, you've done this twice, you can do it again. You've done this twice. You can do it again. I, I kept him from stealing my arrow. That's the important part. Can't steal my arrow if I'm dead. Oh, there's the dash that time. I didn't want to launch my arrow because he the dash had already finished, but I was already holding the button. Okay. Let's just take an electric orb to the face.
bad run, bad run. Why did I do that? He wasn't going to dash, that was the first arrow. on my arrow. Come to me, Titan Souls. And that's the game. I know there weren't many people watching, but that's okay. I had a fun time. And who knows? Maybe somebody will go back and watch the VOD, and they'll have a fun time too. Very small development team, relatively speaking. It's nice to have, like, a short credits. 142 deaths. 18 killed. Okay. I thought the other ones were say said 13 killed. Some of the bosses optional? Or was I crazy and they said 18 killed on the files that I've beaten before? Truth. Um. Oh! Uh. I guess I guess that that was not the game. <laughs> Forget what I just said. We've got another boss. This one I know I've never done because it is not familiar at all. Nope.
Uh, well, when I oh, when I set out to do this stream, I thought that that was the last boss of the game. I did not realize truth was a thing. So here we are. No, not quite. There we go. What? 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 Is, I guess truth is a multi phase? I don't. I didn't. I, I thought. I thought that was a cutscene for a moment there. <laughs> I'm just confused. Don't mind me. Let's see if we can get back to phase two of truth. That's not how you do it. Nope, that was too late. That, that was terrible. Angles? Okay. Nope. Almost. But it hit the edge of the ring instead of the middle where I need to hit. Wait. I couldn't see where I was because the ring was in my face. Well, unless I can consistently get this phase down. It's going to be very annoying to try and figure out how to practice the second phase. <laughs> uh, Close-ish? That's not the direction that that wheel's supposed to spin. I feel like truth is changing up the rules. 
but if I did this over here, it would be left and top. Yeah, okay. Left and... No, that's... That's left and bottom. But why, though? Oh, I see. There's a pink one that gets shot out every now and then from this guy that's shooting the eyes. Up. Oh. Oh. I need to not get eaten by teeth. Okay. We now know what we need to be looking out for in phase two. <laughs> Assuming we ever get there again. No, we'll get there. right now there's the pink eye and it's gone I think it just went past me. Nope. How am I supposed to... I can't, if I stop, then the teeth eat me. How am I supposed to shoot the, per, the pink purple eye? Well, I'm getting good at the first phase. Can I shoot the teeth? Can I destroy the teeth? Late on the draw there. All right. I can destroy the teeth. <laughs> or I can just miss. Continually miss. He has a third phase.
third phase where the eyeball grows legs and fires lasers. Okay, phase one complete. I missed, so therefore I'm dead. Oh. I was I was ready for this to be a shorter stream, and then truth showed up. Okay, phase three. Aha! I gotta be able to shoot him while he's doing laser beams, right? Okay, phase one done. Nope, missed. Got him. Okay. Phase two. Let's just, let's just die. Yep. No, if I miss if I miss an arrow during phase two or three, I'm basically dead. Getting good at phase one. I figured out the trick for phase two. And then it's just phase three. Yep, let's. Oh, I don't have time to charge my arrow to shoot him. Missed. The absolute miss. Okay, phase one. Phase two. Here we go. Phase three, once again.
I did it. I did it. Um. All right. Truth. Knowledge is mine. <sighs> well, that was a fun surprise. Extra final boss fight that I didn't know about. And stream still only took two and a half hours not the full three get achievement unlocked truth translated text nice new game mode unlocked okay uh, 164 deaths, 19 killed now. So. And we still have a better time than what I did my first time beating the game. Also better deaths count. So. That's going to be the stream. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care.